In this video, we have a look at the formula for the area of a circle. The formula looks like this. Pi times radius squared. Now I need to remind you that we've already had a look at the circumference of a circle. Here the formula is pi times diameter, and we saw that the diameter is 2 times the radius, which means we can rewrite the formula as 2 times pi times radius. This is why it is very important to make sure that you use the correct formula for your calculations. When calculating the circumference, we are taking 2 times the radius, so we are doubling the radius. Whereas for the area, we square the radius, meaning that we multiply the radius by itself. Let's have a look at an example to make this difference clear. Here we have a circle with a radius of 3. So, to determine the circumference, we are going to take 2 times pi times that radius of 3. So here we double the radius to get to 6 pi, and the unit will be centimeters. If I now also go and calculate the area of the circle, I will have pi times by this radius of 3 that I square. That means 3 times 3, so this will give me 9 pi. And here the unit is centimeters squared. Remember that your final answer will be determined by the instructions. You can either leave your answer in terms of pi or round off. Examples. Calculate the area of each of the following shapes, rounded to two decimals. Our first shape is a circle where the diameter is given as 15 meters. For the area of a circle, the formula is pi times the radius squared. So you need to be careful to make sure that you substitute half of the diameter. That is 7.5 as my radius and then square that. Here the rounded area is 176,71 meters squared. In the second example we have only half a circle or a semicircle which means we only have half of the original circle's area. Again, the diameter of the shape is given, and you need to remember that for the formula of area of a circle, we only need the radius, which is half of that. So, I'm going to start off with my formula for the area of a circle, pi times radius square, and then take only half of that for my semicircle. In the case of area, we are focusing on the inside of the shape. So here, it won't make a difference whether that diameter line is a solid line or a dotted line. Both of these shapes will have the same area. So if I substitute into the formula, I will have half times pi times the radius squared, and the radius is 4. So the area will be 25,13 centimeters squared. In our third example, the shape consists of a triangle and half a circle. So, for the area, we are going to take the formula for a triangle, which is half times base times perpendicular height, and then add to that the formula for half a circle, that is half times pi times the radius squared. For the area of the triangle, we need the base and perpendicular height lengths. We were given the base as 5 cm, but we still need to determine the perpendicular height. To do this, we need the length of the hypotenuse, which consists of 2 radii of our circle. So that is 2 times 6.5, and, and that will give us 13 cm. Using the theorem of Pythagoras, we can now say that the height squared will be equal to the hypotenuse squared, minus the other shorter side squared, and this is 144. This means that the height is 12 centimeters. So, to determine the area of this triangle, we have a half multiplied with the base of 5 
and the perpendicular height of 12. To this, we are going to add the semicircle. That is a half times pi times the radius of the circle, which is six and a half squared. The area of the shape will then be 96,37 centimeters squared. Example four, calculate the area of the shaded region rounded to two decimals. This shape is formed by taking a square and cutting out a circle. The part that is left will form our shaded region. Therefore, to determine the area of the shaded region, we are going to start off with the area of a square, which is side squared, and then subtract from that the area of the circle. For the area of the square, we already have the side lengths, so we can take the 30 and square that. For the area of the circle, we need the radius. For this, you need to realize that the diameter of the circle is the same length as the sides of our square, which means the radius would be half of that, and that is 15 millimeters. So for the circle, we have pi times the radius squared. The area of the shaded region will then be 193,14 millimeters squared. So now you should know and be able to use the formulas for the area and perimeter of a square, rectangle, triangle and circle.